Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another Christmas box to share with you. Oh, Christmas will be here before we know it. We've got to get these things ready to go. So this is what I'm sharing today. I'm actually going to change it up so I can show you how to personalize these. I think they will be super adorable. I think I'm going to do that for my grandkids is to personalize them. They're always so fun. And I did show this in another video how to personalize these. Um, not this box in particular, but how to do some personalization. And yeah, but we're going to do it on the next one. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's going to turn out really pretty. So this box is a little bit different. So we are going to untie this and I'm going to show you how it opens because you have to untie it here. And it's got this unique closure, which this comes up and then this one comes up as well so you can fit quite a bit of candy in here or any small gift it's three by three by one and a quarter i believe no it's one and a half so it's one and a half high so it's going to fit some really nice goodies then all you're going to do is bring your ribbon back through these and then you just tie a bow It's really easy to do. So I want my bow going this way. You can add whatever you want on the top of this, any sentiment, but I really like this little star. And this one goes with the snowy, I think it's a snowy wonder. I'll show you here in just a minute. Y'all, I get so, there's so many I can't even keep track. So this is what I'm sharing today. I'm going to show you how to do the little star as well. But we are going to also use the ornament die. So we are using for this um, the decorative trees. And I'm only using it for this A, A Very Merry Christmas, which you can use this May Your Days Be Merry and Bright on the little star as well because it's made to fit in this star. It's the sweetest stars, not the other the snowy wonder like I said I told you I can't keep these all track so these are the three I'm using the hang your or an ornament is going to be the one I'm going to share with you today but I'm going to also show you because it's so quick and easy to do the other one and I think I'm going to grab the sentiment off of here to show you that you can use the sentiment in this one if you have this bundle um, I like the sentiment a very merry Christmas but you don't even, you can use whatever, y'all, whatever you have. So I'm going to show you how it fits inside the star, though. So you can eliminate this um, bundle here if you want. But this one's so good, y'all. Y'all have seen me use this quite a bit. All right, so we are going to do that. And we are going to go ahead and start by stamping daffodil delight because that's what we're going to punch the star out so this one way is a little bit quicker and easier because we're not doing any die cutting we're just punching the star and this is the star that goes with that bundle the sweetest star and i'm going to go ahead and stamp the ornament as well so i can show you how that goes together so we'll do both of those. I'm going to do it in real red because we need a little bit more red on this box. So there's the ornament. Isn't it pretty? You can also, I didn't go as far as to make the little gold top, but you can do that as well if you really want to fancy it up. But let's go ahead and grab our Versafine and I'm going to stamp the sentiments. Now I'm going to stamp this one, may your days be merry and bright, because if you want to use that same stamp set, it fits in here perfectly. I, I did use this greenery off of the decorative trees as well, and, um, and I also stamped two of the garden green leaves, or not leaves, but holly, and that's going to be for the ornament. Oh, we need to keep this open. So what I'm using to to personalize these are these these are recollection 
I'll, I'll link these both in the description. Last time I did it, I didn't have the uppercase. So now I have the uppercase. I got the lowercase because I use this all the time, the lowercase for like doing tags and stuff like that. But the uppercase, um, I really wanted it for this ornament. So yeah. So this is what they look like. There's the lower and the upper. So you do have to get them separate. I'll link them both in the description. Um, they're so good because they just click together and you can make any name, any sentiment that you want on it. So we're going to put my name on there. And I want to make sure there's enough ink on there. And then we're just going to stamp it in the middle here. And there's my name. And as you can also use on this one, they have the sentiments on here like just for you or all is merry. You can stamp that in that little space. I love personalizing things though. I don't know how you feel about that. But yeah, I love that. And then we're going to run this through the cut and emboss. And I will be right back with that. I already made an ornament, so I'm not going to run these through just to save on time. I did stamp two of the holly leaves, and I did one little berry, and I just punched that with a regular hole punch and put that on top. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. And on this one, I'm going to just leave the sentiment. I'm not going to put any of the little greenery like I did on this one. So if you use this one, you can put the little greenery and the little dots on there that I put on there. You can actually put little red dots on here. I think it'd be cute. So let's just go ahead and punch some of those out with our little 1 8 inch circle punch here. Let's just do three. And I'll just use my wet glue and we'll put a couple on here just to make it a little bit more festive. I did clean out, if you watched my thing and this was clogging, I took off this whole top, y'all, if you have this, take the whole top off, run it under hot water, and make sure it's cleaned out real good and it's been working beautifully again. Before it, was, it started getting clogged up, I don't know if the glue just gets stuck in there. And sometimes I leave it overnight, and I probably shouldn't do that. probably should just close it up every night. All right, so there you go. That would be cute as well on the top here, just like that. So that's how that one is. Let's make our box and put it all together, and I'll show you how this one looks on it. Okay, so for this box, you do need a 12-inch piece because it is a pretty good size box. So you do need 12 inch by 7 inch. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And please share. All those things help, especially the thumbs up. Because that tells YouTube that people are watching it and they like it. So they will push it out more. So I appreciate all of that and commenting as well. And I have an inspiration sheet on my blog at stampingwithamore.com with all the measurements so you don't have to write them down as you watch. All right, so on this 12 inch side, we are going to do it at three, four and a half, seven and a half, and nine. And then you're gonna turn it on the seven inch side and you're going to do it at one half two I know you can't see me going all the way down but I am going all the way down five and six and a half and that'll be it okay let's cut this now so I'm going to go ahead again, and I think it makes it a little bit easier if I just sharpen the score marks first so you can see it a little bit better. Sometimes the color that I use is a little bit darker, and it is hard, a little bit harder to see. So let's go ahead and just sharpen these all. Okay, now that they're all sharpened, we are going to start cutting this. And I wanted to do this real red. But I didn't have any 12 by 12. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered last. 
I always do get the 12 by 12, but yeah, I didn't get it this time. All right, so we're gonna cut down this side and we're gonna cut it to the second score mark. And then you're gonna cut this top piece off and you're gonna cut this little piece on the side, this half inch piece off. Now I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter just to make these a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna cut into them. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. So cut all the way down to the second score mark. Then you're gonna cut this longer piece off the top off here. And then you're gonna cut this half inch piece off. Again, I'm gonna cut this in half, not in half, but a little bit smaller and then cut into these. You're gonna do the exact same thing on this other side. Cut down to the second score mark. You can do this on your trimmer if you rather. And then cut off this half inch piece here. I'm gonna make that a little smaller. Cut into these. And then the same on this side. Again, cut off the top piece here. That little half inch piece. And then we're gonna cut that one in half or take it, make it a little smaller and cut into these. And this is all we're doing, y'all. I'm keeping these straight because I just like the way they look better. You can round them off if you want. I'm just gonna keep them straight. Get all that cleaned up. And we are now ready to put this together. Okay, so these are our glue tabs right here. I'm gonna go ahead and let's use some Seal Plus. Okay, so we are gonna put Seal Plus on all of these. enough on there so it keeps it together. You can use tear and tape, you can use wet glue. This is just a quicker way. Until it starts pulling your paper up. Okay, let's see. Let's do it this way and see if it... This is the one thing. I love this because it's so strong. But it really bugs me that it catches the paper. Let's see, I got it on my finger there. So you're just going to square these off and pull them all up. And I like these little flaps because you can put those in and it keeps this closed. I'm gonna round the corners though with my little corner rounder here. I did link one in the description before. I'll try to link this one too because, not this particular one, but one that's close because they don't make that one anymore. So we are going to map this. And I didn't show you y'all um, the designer series paper I'm using is the Reindeer Days. And I'm just using the opposite side here with the little reindeer on it. I love this paper. I love both sides. It's so cute. So that's what I'm using for this. And you need two pieces that are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And you need four that are one and one quarter by two and seven eighths. Yeah. All right, we're gonna round the corners of just one side of these. You don't have to do the inside, but I just think it looks a lot cleaner if we we do the inside as well. Let me grab my wet glue here. But isn't that cute? Gosh, this paper, this whole bundle is so cute. And we're gonna attach that. 
around the corners. Uh, oh, we already did that. <laughs> it's one of those days we're expecting storms today, really bad storms. And it's that time of year, you know, when the winter starts getting cooler and it's so hot here. We have a lot of this time, a lot of storms this time of year. We're supposed to have a hail and everything today, so I think my mind's on that. All right, so we're going to do all the sides here. Okay, now it's all matted, all four sides and the top. I'm going to grab not my little hole punch, but I'm going to grab my big one. I bring this out every once in a while, but this needs. I need to reach these little um, insides of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch two holes and I'm going to mark them first. It's always smart to mark them first. So I'm just going to mark them with a pencil and then I'm going to show you them here as soon as I get them punched. But this one, it goes through the paper and the cardstock so much easier and it also reaches a lot further in. So I have two there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this down and I'm going to mark again here because you want them to be in the same spot. And this is where, because this goes so far in here, it's a little bit hard to get your um, regular hole punch in there. So I'm going to do it with this. Everybody I think has one of these nowadays because these have been around so long. I've had mine like forever. And I always forget it's a crop -a dial crop -a dial too, but I always forget what they call it. All right, so we got our holes punched. I am using some old Stampin' Up! Real Red Ribbon. We didn't have any Real Red Ribbon, y'all, this year, except for the polka dot one, and I didn't. I just wanted a solid one for this. All right, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna put it through the inside here. I'm gonna cut this pretty good size so that I always keep all my ribbon and stuff unless it's really um, been gone for a while, but especially like the red, real red and basic colors, I always keep them. And this is just from like a year ago. All right, so you put it through there and then you're gonna bring it through the top here. I love this closure. It makes it really nice. It's really easy to do too. So then you pull those. And since I'm putting on my ornament this way, you can tie it going this way if you're going to put something there, but I want the ornament like to have a bow on the top where it's kind of hanging from. So that's what I'm using for this. I'm going to do it this way. Cut that shorter. Isn't that cute just like that? But of course, you know I have to add something to it. All right, this is what you, I did pop these up, both the ornament and that. So if you want to put this on there, isn't that cute with that on there? And then, so here's the ornament. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Put a couple on here. And we're going to set it right underneath the bow. Like that. Let's shorten that just a hair. You know I want it to be just right, y'all. You know how I fool with bows all the time. And there you have it. So you can do this two ways. 
You can do it with the little star punch from the Sweetest Star Bundle, or you can do the little ornament from the Hanging Ornament. But I really love that you can personalize these. I thought it was so cute, and I went, after I thought it, at first I made this one, and I thought, oh, I need to use the Hanging Ornament <laughs> to personalize it. It would be really cute. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamora.com. Here's my November host code. If you place an order, I'd appreciate you using the host code. And thank you so much for watching. Have a super blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.